wait for the teleprompter. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are some of the best things about your family? Now, I realise for some of you, you might be thinking nothing right now, but have a think. What are some of the best qualities your family have? For my family, it's honesty. So even when we've done something wrong, we can say so and it's cool. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Aaron. This is The Bible Applied, where we work out how the Bible changes us. And this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. No, it's not. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Reminder! Please do subscribe to the channel. Reminder! There's a little tip about evangelism at the end of this video, so watch out for that. Reminder! Please like this video because it makes me feel very happy. Let's read this together and see what it says. Verse 1. You know, brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not without results. We had previously suffered and been treated outrageously in Philippi, as you know. But with the help of our God, we dared to tell you the gospel in the face of strong opposition. For the appeal we make does not spring from error or impure motives, nor are we trying to trick you. On the contrary, we speak to those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but God, who tests our hearts. You know that we never used flattery, nor did we put on a mask to cover up greed. God is our witness. We were not looking for praise from people, not from you or anyone else. Even though, as apostles of Christ, we could have asserted our authority. Instead, we were like young children among you. Just as a nursing mother cares for her children, so we cared for you. Because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Surely you remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship. We worked night and day in order not to be a burden to anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. You are witnesses, and so is God, of how holy, righteous and blameless we were among you who believed. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Let's go through this passage and work out how it applies to us today. First thing to see is that Paul and his friends have God as their number one priority. Now, how do you feel about telling people who don't believe in God that you do? Now, it could be quite hard, right? Paul and his friends told these guys about the good news of Jesus in the middle of some really hard times, but what kept them going? Their sights were set on God. He was then, I don't know why he was up there, he was their number one priority. The second thing to say is that they were honest. Have you ever thought about how easy it would be to sell the gospel? Have you ever wanted a better life? How about a perfect one that never ends? Where you can be in a great relationship with God who loves you and wants what is best for you. And what's more, we can give you free postage and packaging. For the small cost of $150,000, you can enjoy eternal life with God. Rubbish. If you ever hear someone trying to sell the good news of Jesus, then pray for them. Because when they meet God, they're going to have a lot of explaining to do. It is free. We need to be honest with people about the gospel. We are simply called to pass the good news on, not to manipulate, not to treat people as projects, but to be honest with them about what is true. And thirdly, Paul and his band of brothers needed to be a family. What were the great things about your family? Paul mentioned being like a child, a mother and a father in this. Did you notice? If you look down at verse 6 and 12, see if you can spot why child means being honest and open innocent and not overbearing a mother means caring and loving and a father means encouraging and comforting and urging to live for God. so here's the little tip for evangelism okay get this verse 8 sharing the gospel in love but so much so that you share your lives as well don't keep your life separate from when you're speaking about jesus Include your life in the personal testimony of what Jesus has done for you. Tell people your story and link it with God's story. 
Application. I want you to remember to re-watch this video before you go to bed tonight so that you can meditate on what the Bible says. We all have something we can change in our lives, following the example of Paul and his brothers. How great would it be if church was full of people like this? If you're going to start helping out as a junior leader on a camp or in a youth group and don't know how to do it, then the answers are right here. It's the same message to church leaders. It's the same message to all Christians. Be a mother, be a father, be a child to people. How great would it be for people to walk into our churches and immediately find a welcoming and loving family? And I will see you in the next video. Yes, it's about that I really need a wee. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. No, that's huge. Uh, Nana Steve's challenge. Okay. Yes, it's time for another Steve's challenge. Let's see what we've got today. This is a one-liner. Do a handstand for the for the longest time. <laughs> I haven't done a handstand since I was about 13. Um, do a handstand for the longest time. Okay, here's going to be the video of me uh, doing a handstand for the longest time. So I was away at a conference um, when I was trying to film this. I was so excited about this because I, I thought I could smash out a handstand with no problem. But these, these are the attempts that I made. Sorry about the uh, flickering light. Um, that one was probably the longest one that I managed, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is under one second. Uh, final time here, final try. Here we go. And we're down. So I didn't do very well. Um, slightly irritated by that, but hey ho. I uh, bet you could do better. There's a video of me doing a handstand. <laughs> now, if you think that you can do better, which I imagine you probably can, uh, why don't you get someone to video you doing a handstand for the longest time? Now, the rules are you're not allowed to lean against something. Okay, it's got to be a freestanding handstand. You've got to be able to do it for the longest period of time. Um, I look forward to seeing your entries on the Facebook group that we've got, The Bible Applied. Uh, so have a look for the Facebook page. You'll be able to get a link through to the Facebook group there. Um, upload your videos. I look forward to seeing you there.